Good morning everybody and welcome to this morning's thought for the day. I've got my gardening gloves on this morning. Um, a few weeks ago Debs offered many of us I think a plant pot with a seed in it. Would you like to grow a sunflower she said. Oh yeah I'll have a go at that. And you know I'm ashamed to say I've never grown a sunflower before so I took it home, bought it home watered it, found a nice little outside pot to sit it in and put it on my windowsill in uh, the porch so it gets all the sun because it's south south facing there so I thought yeah we'll just give it and see what happens. Anyway I dutifully go out and water it every so every few days and turn it around so that you know it's it's facing the sun at a different angle. When it goes back in it's got to go that way in so it'll turn back to face the sun. Face you, it's quite pretty. But it, um, it's sort of made me stop and think a little bit about, <laughs> oddly enough, some of the things that Jesus was saying in some of his parables. And not, and I'm not thinking about whole parables or whole, whole stories. I'm just thinking about little phrases that came up. Um, and I think it came about from my thinking about the Holy Spirit on Sunday with the coming of Pentecost. Um, about how we grow, how we develop, and how we go on, and sort of looking, sitting down and looking back over past history, and I'm not thinking about my past history, I'm going back, you know, a few hundred years, of how in many religious ways, not just a Christian way, but in many religious ways, we are told what to believe. We are told how we should believe it. And in some cases, in some areas, it gets quite doctrinal, very, when you do this, very black and white. And when I did my Myers-Briggs, when I did my training, it came out and said that I was an unconventional thinker. In other words, my husband always said I wasn't logical, so it suited him quite well. And I like to try and look at things slightly differently. And um, so first off, I take my, my hint, well, God's a creator. He created everything around us, didn't he? He created the birds and the bees, the seeds, the skies, the rain. I think he might have got that one wrong occasionally. Um, but everything, he, he created the beauty around us. The detritus, we create. And so we've got this, this unbalance here. Um, but I sort of keep going back to this plant, thinking, how does that fit in with my growth? How does this plant fit in with how I develop and how I grow? And I can remember many times um, saying, oh, I feel like I'm in a straight jacket. I really can't get out and be who I believe God called me to be. And you know, it takes a long time sometimes for the penny to drop, or it might just take a long time that you're, um, held by your constrictions are held by other people they're telling you what you can and can't do so i came down watered my plant and i lifted it up see how you're getting on as you can probably see i don't know if you can see there you go i hope you can see that the roots are popping out the bottom of the pot oh now we know that water alone is not going to sustain those plant plant has to be repotted it has to be put into a bigger pot it has to be given the chance to develop and grow more because if those roots can grow then the top's going to grow if the roots stay restricted then the plant is going to stay restricted and it's like us if we're not allowed to grow if we're not allowed to develop and sometimes it might be up a strange path or it might be a bit cockeyed or whatever but we have to develop we have to try what we're doing when we do that, and we're allowed to grow, and we're allowed to expand, then we start to develop and shape. And soon, I hope, you know, my sunflower is going to grow. I've got to, I've got the twin, my twin grandson's sunflowers in my greenhouse, so Nanny's got to win, hasn't she? <laughs> I don't think they'd agree with that. But here we go, when it grows, because when that grows and it flowers, the flower will fruit. 
when we grow and develop in our faith, we will fruit. And those seeds that we provide to other people will start to develop with them, will start to grow with them. So not only that, they don't only provide growth and beauty in the garden. These also provide food for the birds. And I think that the one little phrase that I used on Sunday, and it's one little phrase that, that's sort of been sort of worming its way around. You know, you get that, don't you? An earworm and it sort of goes round and round in your head. And it's when the disciples had been doing something that Jesus had encouraged them to go and do, and it hadn't actually worked properly, or it was a little, you know, a little shallow what they'd done. But they'd tried it and they'd done it. And Jesus had said to them, Oh, you of little faith. And we tend to look at that in a negative fashion, saying that, oh, you've got, you've, oh, you haven't got a chance, you, know, you haven't got much faith, have you? I don't think Jesus meant that at all. What he was actually saying, well, you've started. Oh, ye of little root. You know, these are my little roots down there. My little roots are going to start growing. But they're only going to grow if I give them the right medium to grow in. They're only going to grow if I help and nurture them. And it's the same with us. You know, we have the Holy Spirit there. Around us all the time. And come on, you know, grow. Be with me. Flow with me. Go with me. And Jesus is the light. It's the light that's going to shine on my plant. It's going to give it that warmth and the growth. And of course, God, our creator, is just going to pour his love in everything we do. So, be a sunflower. Let your roots grow down. Grow strong. When your roots grow down and you're strong under the ground and you're strong in what you've got, you'll grow tall and then you will bloom and flower. So don't be confined in a pot. That's it. You know, I thought many times I was confined in a straitjacket. Here we have this plant confined in a pot. I'm going to go and find a bigger pot to put it in now. So uh, Grow. Have roots. Enjoy. And instead of reading the Bible as black and white, read it as a coloured child's pop-up book. And as you open it, all these stories pop out. And you get the lovely sort of picturesque uh, stories in there. You'll get all the sounds and the smells and the colours of what is going on. Don't be confined to the pot. Take care. Blessings to you all. Hope to see you next week. Be very safe. And for those of you that will be on holiday and, and the school holidays next week, do enjoy the time with the children if you can. They're so precious. Bye-bye for now. See you later.